Well, Middle Tennessee State University joining a list of other major colleges in the state dealing with a lack of places, places to house students on campus. It's a first for the Murfreesboro School. Even their wait list for space in residence halls is completely full. And that's made plenty of students frustrated. But school leaders tell our Aaron Cantrell they do have a plan to tackle this problem. Time is key for MTSU housing. This isn't Emily Grove's first rodeo. She knows housing on the campus of MTSU is limited. Because I've been through the process. I always tell people, get on it early. And unless you did, you're going to be forced to locate off-campus housing for the fall semester. A greater number of our sophomores, juniors, and seniors opted to stay on campus for another year. Because rent prices have gone up and students are finding it cheaper to stay on campus. Our students particularly really reflect the composition of the state of Tennessee. And so they are not the wealthiest students in the state. Uh, they're, they're very um, medium income. So trying to find housing within your price range is a daunting task, which is why the university is investing in resources to help students find a home. They're using social media groups to link new students with off-campus housing opportunities and offering an off-campus housing website. Once MTSU can come up with more funds, um, they're hoping on building more campus. But right now, I think we can all agree that MTSU, we are struggling with housing. New Channel 5 learning exclusively. The Blue Raiders already have a plan in the works to tear down the current Womack Lane apartments and build a newer unit to meet rising on-campus housing demand. So we've been working through trying to understand how we can build a really high quality living experience for students uh, without raising rates to a place where they couldn't afford to live there. Groves knows some of her fellow Blue Raiders will be upset, but says... Do the best with what they can with where they are now. Everything works out the way it needs to. In Rutherford County, Erin Cantrell, New Channel 5. A cell says that students should apply for on-campus housing when they're applying for admission. They have more than 20,000 students enrolled and only about 3,000 spaces for on-campus living.